Well, Kalal Papa, of course, a place that has experienced so much and so much loss over the past 100 years, and they are mourning there again tonight. Longtime residents Clarence Bugi Kahilihiva passed away this morning at Hale Mohalu Hospital here on Oahu. Pamela Young has more. Kalau Papa, the most isolated peninsula in the islands, has been home to more than 8,000 men, women, and children diagnosed with Hansen's disease since 1866. Nine year old Clarence Kahilihiva was one of them. In 1959, he joined his brother, two sisters, and an uncle as patients diagnosed with the disease then called leprosy. In the post war years, he and his siblings would play boogeyman games with military issued gas masks, hence the nickname Boogie. Like many of the children, Boogie found the settlement less of a prison and more of a playground with its untouched cliffs and shoreline. With the advent of disease inhibiting sulfur drugs, non contagious residents were allowed to leave Molokai, but Boogie and wife Ivy would return often to their Kalaupapa home. As a community leader, Boogie was active in the Lions Club and presided over Kaohana o Kalaupapa. Twice he traveled to Vatican City as part of the patient delegation to the canonizations of Father Damien and Mother Marianne. I feel so humble to be here and blessed. I thank God for giving me the strength to be here. Thank you, Jesus. A project dear to his heart was the construction of a Kalaupapa Memorial, a project that was stalled in the legislature because of the COVID outbreak. The memorial is to list the names of the more than 8,000 who lived and died here, his name now among them. Boogie Kahilahiba would have celebrated his 80th birthday next month. Pamela Young, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. So with his passing, what does the future hold in Kalau Papa and for the surviving residents? For contributions to the Kalau Papa Memorial Building Fund, contact Kaohana o Kalau Papa at kalaupapaohana.org.